Okay. So yesterday, uh, just a reminder, like a recap, we talked about the view of literature and what I did uh, in preparing that. Okay. Uh, just like the story that I gave you in uh, literary process, I forgot, I cannot recall what number, like, uh, you, I, I told you an analogy that when you go to the beach, I don't know whether you, you are a person like that, you pick many things on the shore, you, know? you walk on the shore on a sunny, bright, sunny day, then you pick many things on the, on the shore. Um, well, you probably unconsciously pick things that attract you. Uh, you will not pick, uh, you will not probably pick a, a something that will kill you. No? something that's poisonous. Or probably you can, uh, maybe something that attracts you, but something that attracts you, whatever the criteria is. But you alone are the one who knows what it is. Okay? So in research, when you do when you do that, a review of literature, like picking things, picking the book that that is interesting, you declare it. Okay? You tell yourself, you write it in the assignment that I am interested with with, uh, with some things, design architectural design things that are related to a particular uh, concern of a museum. Uh, for example, you are interested in a museum. The first thing that comes to my mind is the first thing, maybe not the but uh, the preservation of the artworks that we put there. So I would probably be considering a lot about uh, humidity and temperature control, uh, something like that, to protect the, 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 work, the work of art. So that would be something that I declare to myself and to my advisor. And then as you look for literature related to humidity, climate control in a museum, uh, focusing on how to preserve it. Now, is that the only focus uh, that you can look at in a museum? Of course not. Okay? So there could be other things. Some, some could be a daylight thing. So whatever that thing is, that's your criteria in select. So going back to the analogy on the beach, can, can you relate? Can you relate? Can, do you go to the beach? Uh, okay. So do you pick pick up something? Okay. So this rock seems to be uh, is the most cubic rock that I have seen. It's kind of like a useful for a cubic rock. Okay. So, uh, a pyramidal rock. Okay. Something like reddish brown uh, rock or a shell. So, this is, so you pick up, it's for free, no? It's for free. So you don't care, you don't care. And you're not destroying mother nature. <laughs> pick up. Then, uh, because it's for free and uh, there's an abundance, no? there's an abundance of things that you find. That, so you, you don't take hesitation. So similarly to your literature, there is an abundance of literature available. Okay, there is no scarcity, so to speak. I just came from the library. I'm so glad no, that people are occupying 100%. In fact, the library um, uh, occupancy is beyond the capacity because there are students already sitting on the floor. There are some students who prefer to stay on So, anyway, there is no scarcity. The only reason why you are not getting anything is that you are sick. You are not on the shore. You are with your gadgets. Okay? Sabi naman ang anak ko, judgmental ka naman. Sorry, sorry. 
If you are good, show that you are a good person. Okay? okay. So, now, <coughs> you have a t-shirt before. T-shirt is a bit here. Pocket. You have a piece of container. You uh, have a And then, you put it. Maybe 50, 100. And then, you take it back to your cottage. Then you put it on the table. And then you may you want to make a story out of the connections. So therefore you kind of like group them, you sort them, you throw away <coughs> some of them. Because they're not they're not interesting.
What is the purpose? Okay. Uh, this is from the research methods for nursing. Okay. I think I, I mentioned this. Okay. The purpose is to be able to determine a research problem. Okay. Yeah. To determine a problem. Okay. So you. So therefore, put that in your mind. The reason why I'm picking up things, doing review of literature, is to understand a problem that is related to what I will be deciding in deciding then. Okay, so, I know how that, that's, I know how that's, that's, uh, that should be, you, you should always anchor, no? Pwede ka magpagala-gala, basta nakakapit ka doon sa design pen na project mo. Okay, pero huwag mo itali ang sarili mo yung, kasi yung project ko sa design pen, uh, basta nila, kasi walang basta nila. Okay? Hindi, hindi ganun. Hindi ganun ang premis. Ang problem sa amin, walang bus terminal. So, pwede. Bus terminal ang project mo, ano sa bus terminal ang mga kasagaran na problema? Okay? I, I saw your face. I, 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 uh, I value uh, a lot on facial expression. Okay? okay. So, Wala kasi kami palengke, so yun ang problem namin. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Okay. Uh, as if yung ilalagay ng palengke, wala ang problema. Okay? Yung pag ilalagay ka ng palengke, oh, sige, di ba? May mga may maganda, may mga mali. Yun, yun ang pag-isipan ko. Ay, ay, okay. Ay, I'm gonna tell you a story. This is not... It is related. Okay? This is related. Uh, kasi kayo. Uh, I, I had a project before. I, 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 I was about to get a very huge project before. The Cathedral of Archdiocese of Davao. Okay? Cathedral, pare, no? Yung, alam mo, ang cathedral, uh, ilan ba ang cathedral sa isang diocese?
It will not. Actually, uh, there will be a new set of diseases. So are we, what I'm trying to say is that, are we going to listen to the people, etc.? Or if it's true that it looks uh, dirty, then let's clean it. <laughs> Something like that. So, so I did not get a project. Okay? I don't have a project. Okay? So it's the same particular. Okay, so uh, you project in your lab. Wala kasi kami katibral eh. Baka, baka, hindi kailangan. Okay, or hindi yun ang problem. The, the absence of something is a problem but not an architectural problem. It's a, it's a absence of the hospital. Okay, something like that. So, okay, now uh, let me, any questions? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. At least you're okay. And, uh, any questions? Because that, 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 when I mentioned that, that, the absence of this, we don't have a risk disaster management, something, so we put it, no? So imagine a risk disaster management center. Uh, how, how should it be designed? And what are the issues currently being uh, 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 handled? What are the issues, problems, concerns that existing uh, these disaster management centers are looking at? What seems to be a design uh, flow? flow okay. okay, so uh, going back to this, no? uh, research problem is some kind of a perplexing, you can hear my opinion, perplexing, enigmatic. Uh, people are suffering situation that a research wants to address to through a discipline inquiry. The discipline inquiry, this word, discipline inquiry, is no other than research. And research is a, a discipline inquiry discipline because dapat discipline na ako kayo. Kaya mo kasi may, may special uh, process you know, system of inquiry. Okay, that's what we call uh, the discipline inquiry. And then, the most common sources of ideas for, for nursing, ha? I mean, nursing research problems are Medical experience, relevant literature, okay, social issues, theory, and external sources. So, atin, I simplified it using key punch, review literature, research area, and context. But the context is could be social issues, okay. The research area could be theory. Okay, research area could be clinical experience. So, uh, although they they use different words, but uh, but at least there is another way of doing it. Like clinical experience is like what 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 are your what are the things that people experience when they use the building? Uh, there is a book uh, uh, by Norman. That's the that's the that's the family name, Norman. I forgot the uh, title of the book. Uh, what, what 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 the message that I got from Norman is that uh, is that the the flow the flow the F L A W. Okay, specifically, why, why did I meet Norman? Okay? Saan kami nagkita ni Norman? Yung, yung alam niya yung pinto at na push at saka pull, which, which we did in a library. Then, if you pull it, when you approach the door, do you know whether to pull it or push it? Just by looking. I'm talking 
to you. Would you have any idea? For example, this door. Uh, the first time that you met this door, when you were coming in, do you know that? Would you push it or would, would you, how, how would you know? By looking at the hinges. Okay, so if the hinges is. If the hinges is facing towards you, you should pull it. And if you don't see any hinges, you should push it. Yeah, okay, there are no hinges, but you cannot see them. Okay, there are doors that swing in and out, right? So, does it mean push or pull it? Whatever you want. Okay, it's okay. That's the reason why it's swinging both directions is that you can push it or pull it. Okay. Now, uh, but to some extent, we want the people to to perform a certain action. No? So we put a a sign, pull. No. But even if you push it, it can still be pushed. Meron ka na pull. Para sa library. Uh, I, sa main door lang yan kasi wala pang budget sa ibang door. Ako ang nagbigay pool. Pero yung, yung first door, pool. Yung second, walang label. So, okay. But you notice that there is a, a horizontal bar and there is a vertical handle. Okay. So if you see a horizontal bar, how many says that it is full? It, okay, uh, okay, so there you go. Okay, so there, there I, I, I met uh, Norman. Okay, because he has an article in that book called Norman Door. Okay, Norman Door. You, uh, you, in order to correct your design or in order to elicit a certain behavior in your design, you put a label. And according to normal door, when you put a label, it means that you fail as a designer. You know something that you can convention. Uh, if you need to put a label, you fail in your design. Well, I don't totally agree, but uh, that is his potential. So uh, when you see things, that by intuition, you know what to do. You know what to do. Okay? You know, style. Uh, okay, so, so, anyway, going back to this. So, a research problem is, is not, okay? It's not the research question. Okay? It's a situation, okay? It's a situation that needs to be addressed. And that situation, can be addressed, can be understood using discipline, inquiry, or research. Okay? Uh, so researchers identify a broad topic, or broad topic or focus, then narrow the scope to the problem and identify questions consistent with the paradigm, with the pattern Narrow the scope of the problem, narrow it down, make it focus, and identify questions. Okay? So that identify question is the research question, which, which is this one, the third. So the research question states the specific query that the research wants to answer in order to address the research problem. Okay, so there's a reason problem, there's a situation. Can we look at a particular question? Hopefully, when we answer the question, we are able to address the problem. When we say address the problem, solve the problem. Okay? Or at the very at the very least, uh tickle the problem. Okay? You means that the problem is so huge that just cannot be addressed at one time. There could be another research here, another research there, another research there, and all these researches combined will, will eliminate the problem. 
will kill the bug. But but no, normally in the end, uh, just understanding, just uh, scratching a bit is already a step closer to the solution. So I'm sorry uh, to address the problem. It doesn't say to solve the problem, okay? Uh, address that. Uh, you are doing something to, to eliminate the problem. Any questions? So at this stage, not so Mas 
Pupuntahan mo tayo sa Ateneo. Sa first exam papers. Yes. Yeah. 